Uh, I'm Tom Sully for Sense Media and I'm here with Dell EMC and Zenuity. Representing Dell EMC, I have Charles. Good morning, Charles. Good morning, Tom. And rep I'm very well, thank you. And representing Zenuity, I have Robert. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? Thank you very much. It's lovely to speak with you both. So uh, just explain, first of all, uh, each of the businesses. So let's talk about Dell EMC, first of all, and what Dell's presence here uh, today is at uh, Autosense. So Dell EMC is actually a leading IT infrastructure provider and in the ADAS and autonomous driving development industry which involves many uh, millions of kilometres of test driving and collection of data and analysis through artificial intelligence, our systems, our infrastructure have probably become the number one chosen solution. And, and Rob, explain a little bit about Zenuity and the relationship that you have here with, with Dell EMC. So Zenuity is a software company, we develop the ADA software uh, that runs in this case on top of the Dell EMC infrastructure. And we needed to get something up and running fairly quickly, we're a young company and uh, we got the business requirements uh, to have a solution up and running in, within six months and that's why we choose to work with a partner such as Dell EMC to get that implemented. So just explain to me a little bit about the, the, the Dell EMC IT infrastructure system and, and, and how that applies here. So uh, we have cars out uh, driving collecting data, many, many thousands of kilometers. Uh, we need to collect that data, transfer that into a storage and compute solution where our engineers can uh, do validation of the code that they've done or re do re-simulations, etc. And that's where they help us. And so if you see on the test diagram that we show, the work that Zenuity does is all of the operational work, the gathering of the data, the development of the test cases, the metadata is very important. We sit underneath that, our infrastructure is a scale-out storage infrastructure that's capable of hundreds of petabytes of storage, a massive number of HPC servers, uh, AI systems using the latest GPU chipsets from NVIDIA. So all of these systems together um, need to work uh, from both an IT perspective, but particularly for the R&D outcomes that Zenuity are seeking. I see. So uh, I have a note here that says, of course, that this infrastructure solution uh, uh, helps to accelerate A3 A ADAS. Can you explain that a little bit more to me? Just explain it in uh, how L3. it's relevant. L3. Level 3, yeah, yeah okay. Yes, so uh, we have customers who have bought L3 functionality from us, and obviously everybody's competing to get that to the market as quick as possible. And rather than doing uh, this ourselves, setting up the infrastructure and everything, we choose to use a partner and leverage their experience. So that was the quickest way for us to get the solution up and running for our R&D people who developed the code. Yeah. The, the acceleration that Robert's referring to was the fact that uh, many of our customers, you know, buy the equipment, set it up in racks, put it in their own premises. In this case, we provided a completely managed service from a, a very um, high-grade data center actually located in Amsterdam. And so, if you like, this is a cloud service that Dell EMC has put together, but it's a private cloud for Zenuity. Zenuity have people in many locations around the world all working on this data at the same time and so we help them to solve that problem but get up to speed very, very quickly. And this sort of relationship collaboration and, and the, the technology that we're talking about here, is this, is this fairly unique in the business? Um, actually it's not unique but the speed at which we did it and the way in which we did it as a managed service for Zenuity broke new ground for us. Uh, we do, as I said earlier, we do have many customers using our technology mm -hmm. for this purpose, but most of them are doing it uh, through their own system integration. Yeah. And it's literally an end-to-end -end service, with everything from collecting the data in the cars to enable the engineers to access the data in the data center. So, so another question I have here, uh, what are the benefits of the, the Dell EMC AI Ready solution compared to uh, existing vendor offerings? What are the benefits that we'll see? So the AI Ready solution is really built around a very scalable modular architecture. Uh, we already have the scale-out storage infrastructure, uh, which is a product known as Isilon. This Isilon is node-based and can be, uh, you can add uh, additional capacity on the fly with no downtime. As you do that, you get more I.O. throughput, so the data can be accessed more quickly. Now, deep learning is all about um, a lot of test and training data, but also a, a large number of GPUs that can um, uh, access that data in parallel. So the design we have with the Dell PowerEdge servers that are modular, each holding four NVIDIA GPU uh, V100 cards, that's also a scale-out GPU infrastructure. They're connected together in a meshed network, very high-speed network, so as we add more compute, more GPU, and more storage, 
we get an acceleration. And our benchmark testing against existing platforms in the market shows at least a two times improvement on large scale AI requirements. Charles, do you feel that technology is actually still moving at a very fast pace? It's a, it's a statement I've put to a lot of businesses here with a very mixed response. How fast is it moving? Is it stagnant? Where are we at with new technology? Um, it's absolutely moving at a very fast pace. Uh, our business is really driven by Moore's Law. Um, Moore's Law goes into CPU power, goes into storage density, goes into communications uh, uh, bandwidth and, and performance. When you add those three together, it's actually a cubic function. So as Moore's Law doubles in each of those domains, the total performance, the, the sort of things that you could calculate or achieve that you couldn't do you know, two years ago, four years ago, is staggering. Uh, it really is. And Robert, same question for you. With, with the speed of technology, uh, uh, would you say that it is still moving at a pace that's perhaps difficult to keep up with, or are we ahead of the curve? Where are we at? <laughs> so we're trying to move with the curve. Yeah. And uh, for us, it's an enabling uh, functionality. We're a software development company, and the better performance we can get, the quicker we can get stuff done. So for us, it's an enabler for sure. Wonderful. Well, I won't keep you any longer. There's plenty of people to talk to you. Uh, Robert, thank you. Charles, thank you very much indeed Thanks, for your Charles. time. Plenty more uh, fantastic videos from AutoSense. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Mm -hmm.